Hi, I'm Jen Cam, and this is Jen Cam Plays Board Games, and today we are going to be playing the solo-only game Coffee Roaster. So Coffee Roaster is a solo-only game, like I said, and it is a bag builder, and the goal is to make the perfect cup of coffee according to the, I guess, my recipe card that you're using. So this game can be played as a one-off game or a campaign where you pick your uh, light roast card and you start with a beginner and depending upon what score you get at the end of that game will depend upon what level card you would do for the medium roast and then for the um, dark roast. So we are starting with a Sao Paulo from Brazil. Um, our uh, Rose goal is going to be 14, but we'll cover that in a little bit. But right here, it tells you what components you need to put into your bag. Now, the game does come with a bag. We are going to be using my uh, Cheshire Cat coffee mug instead of a bag. So we're going to go ahead and put all of these tokens right in our bag. And of course, we're going to give those a nice little mix. And we are actually just going to get started anything that we're doing. I'm just going to explain as we go. This game goes really, really fast. So I do plan on doing the full campaign, but I am going to break up the videos between the light, medium, and dark roast. So since our marker is here, we are going to um, start with taking out eight uh, of our tokens from our, our mug. So we are going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we got our defective bean. We have a hard bean. We also have a flavor token that we cannot use currently. So I'm just gonna throw that back in there. This is also gonna go back because we can't do anything with it right now either. And we are gonna just go straight to the roasting phase. So. Each one of these are now gonna become level one beans. And this one is gonna become a zero. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to increase our roast value to five. You do not have to do this. This kind of just helps you keep track of, kind of give you an idea of where you are. So I have our one, two, three, four, five. And then this one turns into the zero. And we can put that in our cup as well. And now we are ready to move on to the next round. So on this one, we are now gonna draw nine tokens. So give it a nice good mix. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, and nine. Oh. Our defective bean really wants to come out and hang out, huh? All right, so on this round, I am going to take this zero and this one, and I'm gonna place them here. Turn them the right way. And what that does is that gives us access to this wild flavor uh, token. So we're gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna hold on to these. And we're gonna go ahead and roast. So these zeros are gonna turn into ones, and this one will turn into a two. And of course, this uh, hard bean will turn into a zero. I'll throw that in the cup as well. And now we're going on to the next turn. And on this one, you can see that this one has a smoke token on it. This is gonna go in there as well. And if it ends up in our coffee cup at the end, it will count as negative points. Also on this round, when we go to the roasting, everything's gonna go up two levels. So we wanna be very, very careful because anything that goes beyond a four is burnt. So it's not good to us anymore. And we do have another double roast phase coming up. So let's give our cup a mix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, here is another moisture one. So there's that smoke. 
And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to take this, um, I believe it's Aroma. And what it does is it takes one of your tokens and it splits it into two. So uh, two different tokens. So this two is going to turn into two ones. But instead of being out here, they're actually going to go right into our cup. So they will not be roasted. At least not this round. So we're going to do that. Because what I'm trying to get is I do want to get this bonus token. So that way when we do our roasting phase, or I'm sorry, our cup tasting phase, we can discard tokens into two areas instead of one. I'm um, Hopefully then we can avoid putting a lot of things in here that we don't want. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the bag and we're going to go ahead and roast these. So these two will become threes. And these uh, zeros will become twos. And we can go on to our next phase. See, or uh, the next round. This game goes really, really fast. And since it's such a, like, so easy to set up, it's a really nice solo game. Okay, so we have one, two, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. The moisture will go back to the box. Ooh, so we want to be careful with this one because if this goes up any higher, it's, go you know, we're in danger of it burning. I don't think I'm going to do anything with it right now. I know this is going to turn into a four and these will turn into threes, but I kind of want to see what we get on this one before I start manipulating things now. Um, cause maybe they won't be a problem. I mean, we'll have to draw 12, so they very well could be a problem, <laughs> but we'll also be adding two smoke in there. So maybe that helps mitigate it. Yeah, so let's please put all these back. These will go to ones. These will go to threes. And this three will turn into a four. So another thing that we could consider is we don't actually have to go to this phase. So what if we actually kept the three by preserving it? Hmm. I think it's too late to fix what I was thinking. Okay, so we're going to move on. We're going to go to 12, put the smoke in and mix everything up. And we're drawing 12 this time. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh my gosh. Okay. So get rid of that one. At least we're not, I mean, everything's going to go to threes, but at least it's not the end of the world but there are a couple problems. There are things I wanted to do. Okay, so we are gonna do it. I am going to do this. I'm consolidate these two. They are gonna turn into a two and go into our cup. And that gives us this, which we really, really wanted. Oh, I really want this one too, but I can't break anything apart. Oh no, oh no. Ah, uh, let's use this one to just draw two more. Mix it up really good since we just put some in. Okay, well, we got the smoke at least. Ooh. So that consolidates these. And you always do the immediate action before you do the flavor action. Okay, I am going to, I was hoping to not do another round, but I think we're gonna have to. Okay, so these three turn, uh, th these three ones will turn into three threes. So that's going up six points. Eeks. And even though this is a double roast round, um, these never go beyond the zero. So at least we'll have a zero in the bag. Oh, silly for me to use that. I was hoping to use that so we could use a blue because this one allows you to draw five, keep three, and trash two. And then I was hoping to be also be able to just trash anything else that we don't want. But that is not what happened. So we're going to move on. Okay, so, ooh, we got lots of junk. Got lots of junk. Oh, and we have threes. Ooh, okay. All right, so I am going to use this one here. 
and I'm gonna break this apart into a one and a three, but I'm actually gonna kind of set those off to the side for right now because Again, you do the immediate action before you do the flavor. So I'm gonna draw five tokens, keep three, and destroy two. Now you could only do this if you actually have the five in your bag. One, two, three, four, five. So I am gonna destroy the four and the smoke and keep these three. And then I am going to use this blue token to break the three apart. Oh, we need to put these in here from before. Um, this three into a two and a one. And that is gonna allow me to get rid of these tokens here. I'm gonna use our green here to put two tokens back. We're gonna mix it up really good and then we're gonna draw two more and just hope that maybe they're not threes. All right, that's fine. Oh, and then we're preserving this three with that green action. I kinda wanna get rid of this one because we're not gonna get any bonuses for it at the end. And it might be better to have one two than two. So let's, It's not gonna really matter. Let's place that one here. We'll get rid of these two. You can't combine it with the zero. Okay, so this will turn into a three. Our zeros will become ones and our one will become a two. And I think we're gonna stop here. I think we're gonna stop here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are moving into the coffee uh, testing phase. So we are gonna draw tokens one at a time and fill our cup up. And we are aiming for a roast value of 14. So that's the numbers that are on our beans. And we also are hoping to get a green and two blue flavors. Uh, hopefully we can do that. Um, and yeah, if we end up not filling for whatever reason, which we should, um, we will lose five points for every empty space, but that shouldn't be a problem. But we do have seven slots where we can I get rid of, or at least not use tokens that we don't want. Now I'm kind of bummed. I really like to get this icon here, which means for both of these slots, you get to draw two, play one, and put the other one back in your bag. So at least you kind of have some choice maybe? I don't know, we'll see. So let's move on to the coffee tasting phase. So we will mix. Oh, no, I can see him over there. Everything up. And this is our first bean. It's a three. We're gonna keep that. I'm gonna move this down here so we can start counting as we go. I'm gonna keep it because I do feel like we still have a lot of smaller ones, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Okay, so that's a one, a two. We're gonna keep that. So we are at six. Oop, there's a blue we need. A one, let's keep that. So we're halfway there with five spots left. Okay, so three, I'm gonna keep it. One, two, three, we're at 10. Oh, yeah, because I still wanna get another blue and another and a green. Is there two? Uh, I'm gonna trash that. You know what? I'm not gonna trash it. That gets us to 14. And then hopefully we could just keep selecting till we get our other blue and green. I hope they're in there. <laughs> they should be. Oh, so three, nope. That is a total pass. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, there's our green. I really don't even know how many tokens are in here. Oh, it's our wild, it's our wild. So it could be anything. So it is gonna be our blue. We're gonna stop because we have the 14. We have the flavors we want. Yes, okay, I'm excited if you can't tell. <laughs> okay, so I like using BG stats in order to keep track of my games and also the scores. Because if you didn't know, or if you haven't seen before on my channel, it does it for you and then it keeps track. So you don't have to use um, you know, the paper that sometimes come with games. Now, for this game, when you are doing the campaign, 
you might want to actually keep track here because it's going to be like the end score. So we could still keep it here, but you know, save paper. So we're going to check our roast points. We got our roast of 14. So that is going to be 10 points. And now we're going to check our flavor points. So for that, we're going to look over here and our flavor points is if we have three flavors that we wanted or needed, we get six points, skill points. So this one's kind of an interesting one. This is how many tokens of the same number that you have, and you need to have at least three. So three is one point. We have no negative points. That's amazing. So we have a total of 17. So I'm going to tell you right now, a score of 15 or higher means that you can move on to the expert level for the next uh, round. So that's going to be our medium roast. So that's going to be the end of this video, but make sure you check out the next one where we're going to continue on that expert level of the medium roast. But let me know in the comments below. Are you a coffee drinker? Do you like light roast, medium roast, dark roast? Do you drink tea? Do you drink, you know, are you like me? Not sponsored. Um, let me know. Or, you know, or do, do you collect mugs? I mean, I don't really drink coffee and some, I only sometimes drink tea, but I do love mugs. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.